Hey, how's it going guys? Um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to retarget your website visitors with Facebook ads and why that is a benefit. Um, I'm gonna be focused more on construction companies today because construction companies, they're buying, someone who buys a house, it's like a long process. It's not, you know, Google, Google Home Builders, click a website, then ring up and buy straight away. Usually people are researching for months um, at least months, so they, they you want to stay in front of them for those 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 couple of months while they're in that buying process. So a good way to do that is with Facebook ads. You can't really do that on Google. Once you put an ad on Google, they click at the head over your website. They look at your stuff, then they bounce. You want to be able to stay in front of them while they're still in that buying process because they they're going to be looking at other builders. They're going to be looking at 10, 20, 30 builders. They're going to be doing their research, and then how priceless would it be to continually to show up in their news feed while they're in that buying mindset. You know, you can show them videos of new projects you just completed, bathrooms you just renovated, a new deck you just built, testimonials from customers, whatever you wanted. Uh, so I just thought, well, this is my brother's company. This is how I started out doing this. I started running ads for my brother and um, exactly how I just told you. So a good, let's, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. And, and like, and this is a little bit technical. Facebook ads are a little bit technical. So if you don't know how to do this, um, feel free to reach out and I can, I can set all this up for you. So firstly, the, the very first thing you want to do, if you've got a website at all, the very first thing you want to do is install the Facebook pixel on your website. Even if you're not running ads now, even if you don't plan on running ads in the next couple of months, but eventually you think you might, just install the Facebook pixel on your website. And what's that going to, and what that's going to do is, it's going to track your website visitors. Um, so when you do start running Facebook ads, Facebook knows who your ideal customer is. It knows exactly who's been visiting your website for how long, what other websites have been checking out. So it's very, very priced. It's free to set up. You can, you know, if you don't know how to do it, just Google set up Facebook Pixel on WordPress or Shopify or whatever website you've got. And there's a hundred videos on how to do it. If you're not sure how to do it, you know, reach out to me. I can, I can do it for you as well. So. That's number one. If you've got a website, do that ASAP. I don't, no questions asked. That's that should be done. Um, I'm going to assume you've done that, um, and I'm going to assume that you know the basics of the Facebook Business Manager because it is pretty technical. Um, so this is pretty much what a basic business Facebook Business Manager is. If you don't know what this is, um, you can again YouTube how to set it up. If you don't want to do that, contact me. I can do it for you. So I'm going to assume that you know the basics. You come in here, you go to your audiences. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a custom audience so I can retarget people for the next 30 days or people who visited your website in the last 30 days. So you just come audience. If I'm going too fast, you can just obviously watch this video a few times. You need to pick the pixel, which is that thing I just told you about. Um, if you're not sure if it is installed on your website or not, Google the Facebook pixel helper on the Chrome extensions. Um, and if it's installed, it will come up like that. If it's not installed, it'll, it'll tell you it's not installed. So come over here pick your pixel webs all website visitors is probably what you're going to want to stick with to start off with unless you know what the events are and you have those events set up but if not stick with all website visitors 30 days you could go 30 days 60 days you can go all the way back to 180 days with um custom audiences but to start with just go to 30 days um uh, another good thing you can do with facebook ads is you can set seven days 14 days 30 days so People within seven days of visiting your website can see a certain bunch of ads. Then from day eight to 14, they can see, see a different bunch of ads. And then day 31 to 60, they can see a whole different bunch of ads. So you can put them through um, a sequence of different ads. So they're not seeing the same ad over and over again for 90 days. You can show them a whole bunch of different ads. So really, really cool. Um, so we'll just set this up very basically. I just like to name it something that's easy. Visits and then I usually do the day with the day 24th, something simple like that. So, create audience. Don't worry about this for now. Uh, so, now that, that now that's created, we'll go and create the Facebook ad. So, what you do is you just head back to your ads manager, create ad. I'm just going to do a basic one, just in case if you don't know what this means. Um, Again, reach out to me. I can set all this up for you. But uh, just start with engagement if, if you just want to do it yourself. Start with engagement. That's fine. Name it, whatever you want. You can go campaign budget. I'll just leave that off for now because that's a little bit more complicated than what you're going to need if you're going to set it up yourself. Go to your ad set. 
pick your budget, whatever your daily budget you want to be, I recommend starting at minimum 10 bucks a day. You don't want to be any, anything less than that. Custom audience, this is where you pick that custom audience we just created, so 30 days, um, 28, 24th of the 6th. So that just lets tells Facebook to show people who visited my website in the last 30 days this ad. Uh, make sure this is off summary. Sometimes that's on. Um, just turn it off because just turn it off. Um, for now, leave, if you're going to do it yourself, leave all this as is because you know just just leave it. Go okay, next. Create the ad. You can either. So this is my brother's. I've been running um, these ads for my brother as I said before. You can either select a video. So he does a lot of bathrooms and stuff. So. You can either select a, a post that's already on your wall and you can run that as an ad or you can create a brand new post from scratch and you can put buttons and, and, and all sorts of stuff on it. Uh, you also got to make sure your domain, which I probably should have mentioned at the start, now domains have to be verified in Facebook um, before you can start, before you can run ads correctly. So if you don't know how to do that, Facebook has heaps of documentation on how to do that. It's pretty simple. If you don't want to do, you don't want to deal with all that. Just let me know, and I can do it for you. Um, so yeah, once you've selected your ad, you've got the events. Make sure that's selected, and the, and your pixels working. Um, create whatever your ad you want. You just publish it, um, and it really is, it's it's really as simple as that. You can make you know as many ads as you want, three or four, five, ten ads, depending on how many pictures you got. You can spread it up over a couple of days. So this is very simple but very effective. It's not just applies for business uh, builders any business you know pest control security companies you know if you're running ads on google and you're sending people from google to your website and then you're not staying in front of them with facebook ads um you're losing money to be honest um you pro you're probably paying a little bit to get them from google to your website to start off with they're not buying on the first touch not many people do um but if you could continually just you can continue to stay in front of them with facebook ads it's very cheap very effective um and you can show them pictures, videos, testimonials. You can show them so much more stuff that you just can't do on Google. Um, so, like I said, every bit this is this is perfect for every business, uh, especially builders, because that process, that buying process, is very long, and people want to see your work. They want to see you know testimonials. They want to trust you. Um, they, they're about to spend a lot of money with you, so they want to they want they want to be able to see your work you've done and, and know who you are. So, this is a very good way to do that. Um, like I said, like I said throughout this whole video, if this is too technical, it's too hard. You don't have the time, which a lot of people don't. Builders don't have time to be playing with Facebook ads, stuff like that. Um, reach out to me; I can set all this up for you. Um, and then we'll go from there. If you've got any questions, um, drop them in the comments below. I'll leave my Facebook links in the comments. Uh, they'll be down below. You can reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram or if I've sent you through this in an email or a text or just reach out, let us know, ask me any questions you want and um, yeah, I'll speak to you then. Cheers guys.